Hello and welcome to the Big Reviewski's best five and worst five movies of 2019. So far, I'm Rory Cashin. I'm Owen Doherty. And we are very quickly going to get through the last six months of cinema. So quick. So quick. Super fast. It's going to go by like this. Fifth best movie, John Wick, chapter three, parallel of them. Mm -hmm. Halle Berry, Ian McShane. Two killer dogs. Yes, Lawrence Fishburne. One additional dog. A big knife fight. Huge knife fight. Killer horses, kung fu horses. Kung fu horses, it's the thing cinema's been waiting for and it is probably the only reason why it's on the top five list. Phenomenal film. At all. And everybody's favorite guy of 2019, Mr. Keanu Reeves. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, good old Reezy. So that's number five best, number five worst, Glass. Holy moly. Hugely bully. disappointing. M. Night Shyamalan Ding Dong. Yeah, like considering how good uh, his last few films have been, uh, we had a lot of high hopes for this, and he was smushing together the worlds of uh, Unbreakable and Split with James McAvoy, Sam Jackson, Bruce Willis, and it turns out, uh, not a great idea. Smushing is an official cinematic term when yeah. three different worlds come together. Yeah, mm -hmm. cinematic smush is what we like to call it. Okay. Number four, best. Yes. Eighth grade. Our own Justine spoke to that movie's writer director, Bo Burnham, earlier in the year. It is one of the funniest, smartest, most emotionally intelligent movies of the year, if not of the last decade or so. That's why Justine isn't here today. She actually ran away with Bo Burnham, the writer and director of that film. And we couldn't be happier for He's her. running away as well. <laughs> he's, he's running. They're he's, both running in the same direction. He's got a distance. But he's, he, he's being chased by <laughs> Justine. That's exactly what it is. Fourth worst movie of 2019 so far is Dark Phoenix. A bad X-Men film? What Can are you, you talking it? about? It? It's like the Star Trek movies. Every That's second it. one or so is quite terrible. Yeah, because it's a wee bit unfair because there have been some amazing ones. Yes. Like Logan. Yes, Days X2, of Future Past. That was really good. Unbelievable. Uh, but this one is kind of retelling the story of the first bad X-Men film, The Last Stand. Which was a, not a great idea. Not a great idea. Uh, got a great cast though, but again, James McAvoy. What are you up to, James? You're in our worst... Fifth film? Fifth and fourth? Fourth film as well. Mm, it's a little, Will he be in the third one? Stay tuned. Quick chat to the agents and just maybe <laughs> away from what you're doing. Pick better films. Third best film of 2019 so far. Doesn't feature James McAvoy. Does feature Olivia Colman, Rachel Weisz and Emma Stone. It is the favourite, directed by our favourite words to say. After three? Sure. One, two, three. Yorgos Lanthimos. Unbelievable director. Uh, this is an absolutely hilarious film. Came right at the start of the year. Um, cleaned up at the Oscars yep. brilliantly well and rightly so because it is hilarious darkly darkly funny and uh, phenomenal performances from those three leads Olivia Emma and Rachel first name terms yeah, all best mates here mm -hmm. third worst movie of the year but maybe James McAvoy <laughs> maybe the only one on the worst list that we'd actually recommend you go to see is Serenity it's Matthew McConaughey wait a second I can't even remember what Serenity is I'll remind you now okay. it's Matthew McConaughey Anne Hathaway in a tropical sexual thriller. Got it. Um, I, when I was reviewing another show, tried not to give away too many plot details because it's one of those things that you need to just witness. It's like it's it's like Showgirls. It's like The Room. It's one of those films that's so bad you have to let it wash over you without any spoilers whatsoever. Are you sure it shouldn't be on the best films list? It's actually our number two. It's the number two. <laughs> brilliant. Segue alert. <laughs> No, it should have been a lot better. It was directed by Stephen Knight, the guy behind like Peaky Blinders and oh, okay. uh, Lock, the Tom Hardy in a car movie. <laughs> That's so what it, it was called. Yeah, it should have been a lot better, but it was. It's still hugely recommended, but a horrible, really, horrible really film. Bad film. So, at your own peril. Second best mm -hmm. film of the year. I don't know if you've heard of this one. It's it's pretty it's pretty niche. I'm okay. Have to see if we can pronounce this correctly. <laughs> Avanges on Avanges. That's the that's the French version of oui. it. Yeah. <laughs> um, of course, phenomenal, phenomenal film. Obviously, the conclusion of the epic Marvel series of twenty-two films. There will be more. Yeah. Because Spider-Man: Far From Home is coming out really soon. Could be on the end of your list. But if you haven't seen Avengers: Endgame, go and see it before it leaves cinemas because it is class. And if you have seen it, go see it again yeah. because it is class. Second worst movie of the year is a. I'm just trying to think of other Chief McAvoy films. <laughs> it's like the King of Scotland. Well, the thing is, five and four featured James McAvoy. Yeah. Three and two feature Anne Hathaway because oh. she's in The Hustle with Rebel Wilson, a completely <laughs> laugh free comedy which is so devoid of humor, it's it should be studied in a lab and then destroyed. 
So no one can it. ever go near it again. Kill it with fire. I've got a feeling that if we actually looked into it, James McAvoy and Anne Hathaway and Petty have got the same agent. Oh, and they're just yeah. trying to destroy them from the inside Pretty out. much. Evil, evil. Our number one movie of the year. So far, 2019, Booksmart. Hilarious comedy from our own, because we're claiming her, <laughs> Olivia Wilde. Olivia Wilde, yeah. Uh, really, really funny team comedy. Very, uh, very smart, very well written. Fantastic performances for the two leads and loads of amazing supporting characters in there. And the soundtrack of the year. It's Incredible there. soundtrack. And as we said before, I don't know if you've noticed, but neither myself or Rory are high school American girls. But we could massively relate to this film, mm -hmm. and you will too. It is uh, phenomenally funny. Brilliant performance, as you said, and you will be singing that soundtrack all day. Word of warning, though, it's a little bit explicit. Don't sing it in a public place, which I did when I was getting a cup of tea the other day. Some dirty looks. See, life lessons all the way. To every day's a school day at the Big Reviewski. Number one worst movie of the year so far. It's going to take a lot to knock this <laughs> off the top spot. It features neither Anne Hathaway nor then what's James it doing McAvoy, on the list? But it is the remake of Hellboy, a mm. brainless um, void of hope where someone threw a lot of money uh, and just hoped for the best, but it didn't happen. It was directed by Neil Marshall, the guy who I think used to be good once. He did, he he did, did some Game Descent. of Thrones he did Game episodes of Thrones. as well. It's, You've also got David Harbour in yeah. there, who is a lot of people's favourite character from Stranger Things as well. And this was probably going to be his big give him give him a big role in hollywood um and unfortunately it didn't work out. So well. and it's lost a lot of money and i think that's a good thing because that's how films like this learn their <laughs> lesson is because just because something is recognizable hellboy dark phoenix remake of dirty rotten scoundrels mm -hmm. doesn't mean it's going we're talking to, to be you. good so yeah this is the opposite of good this is what the romans used to call bad nice that's our top five favorite and bottom five, and bottom five favorite. <laughs> <laughs> um, some of those are still in the cinemas tonight. Avengers Endgame. Yeah. Book Smart as well. Yeah. So go watch them. Go see them. Yeah. And uh, don't forget to tune in to the Big Reviewski every week. Uh, it's up on YouTube. It's up on Joe as well. And myself and Rory and Paul and Justine will see you there. And things get a little bit fruity. Mm. It's like an end joke. You'll, you'll get it if you watch the show. It's fine. And six months from now, we'll be doing another one of these, but with six months more of films. I can't wait. Hopefully they're both completely different. <laughs> Chapter.